Next, let us see what are the pattern allowances. As I already told, the pattern is the replica of the final casting that we are going to make. However, it is modified in certain ways in view of the allowances. In view of the core prints, it is already uh, modified that I have already told. And what are the pattern allowances? One is shrinkage or contract, contraction allowance. Second one is draft or taper allowance. Third one is machining or finishing allowance. Next, distortion or camber allowance. Finally, wrapping allowance. Let us see these things one by one. Shrinkage allowance, or this is also known as contraction allowance. What is this shrinkage allowance? Yes, when we make a casting, during solidification, it undergoes shrinkage. If we want a particular size, and if we make the pattern exactly as the size of the required casting, and during the pouring stage, during pouring, and during solidification, the metal solidifies. It undergoes a shrinkage, and finally, after solidification, the size of the casting will be smaller than the expected size of the casting. The size of the casting will be smaller than the size of the pattern. The pattern we might have chosen correctly. The pattern we might have chosen equal to the size of the required casting. But after solidification, it has undergone shrinkage. So, its size becomes smaller than the required size. So, to counteract this effect, we have to make the pattern bigger than the required casting. So, this difference between the required size and the, uh, the actual size of the pattern is the shrinkage elements or the contraction elements. There are two types of shrinkage of metals. One is liquid shrinkage, another one is solid shrinkage. Yes, during liquid uh, shrinkage, what happens? It undergoes reduction in volume. When the metal from the liquid state, it undergoes to solid state, that time it undergoes reduction in volume. So, this will be compensated by the riser. The molten metal in the riser is kept in liquid state for more time. So, when the casting is undergoing solidification, when the casting is undergoing shrinkage, the liquid metal in the riser, it counteracts the effect of liquid shrinkage. Another one is solid shrinkage. So, this solid shrinkage is caused when the metal loses its temperature during the solid state. We may require a particular size of a casting and if we make a pattern exactly same size as that of the required size of the casting, then the cavity, mold cavity will have the same size as that of the required casting. We pour the molten metal, the molten metal starts solidification. During the solidification, as the uh, solid metal loses its temperature, it undergoes shrinkage. The size becomes smaller. To counteract this effect, we have to make the pattern size little bigger than the size of the casting. So, this is the shrinkage elements. So, this table gives us the contraction elements or the shrinkage elements of various metals. For grey cast iron, for these dimensions, these are the shrinkage elements. For cast steel, for these dimensions, these are the shrinkage elements. For aluminum, for these dimensions, these are the shrinkage elements. For magnesium, for these dimensions, these are the shrinkage elements.